Hi guys, Steve again here. In other uh, posts on Facebook and videos, I have possibly mentioned a, uh, a, a drumming, uh, well it's a way of drumming, it's called New Breed. And there's a book called New Breed by Gary Chester and it is advertised as more, than, more of an advanced book. For instance, you need to know how to be able to read snare drum music out of a basic book. If you are unable to play something like this, uh, one, two, three, two, three, four, and one, and two, unable to play that, you might not quite be ready for New Breed yet. However, you can attempt to do it. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, an, easy, an, an easy approach to New Breed, an easy introduction. Okay? In New Breed there are two things, two main things. There's your system and your melody. Your system can be anything that is constant. Okay? For example, a simple if you're used to playing drum set, you know something like something like that, you can choose your system as something like this, okay? One and two and three and four. Okay? And what you do with your system is you play it over and over and over while you are reading a possibly a, a sheet of snare drum music that is not to be played on the snare drum because you're using the snare drum and hi-hat with your system but in this case we will be using our right foot on the bass drum or left foot on the bass drum if you are left-handed so what I've done gotten out one of my favorite books, Syncopation. Okay, this is my version because it's all blackened out. A lot of students of mine have their own. I want to make sure that they understand that this is my copy. Don't take my copy, take yours because they can be easily mixed around. What I'm looking at, and you do not have to own this book to understand this, I'm looking at page 10, lesson 4. I don't know if you're able to see this or not, but basically it features eighth notes and quarter notes. Okay? If I were to take this page and read it on the snare drum, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and over and over and over. In fact, Number exercise number one, you're to play that four times. So, we've got our system, which is the constant. One and two and three and four. And. Now we are going to apply our melody, which is the first exercise on page 10, lesson four. And instead of the snare drum for the melody, we are going to use our bass drum. Here's how it would go. I'll count myself off. One and two and three and four and That would be a very simple system, meaning one and two and so on and so forth. It's a fairly simple uh, uh, or basic, I don't want to say simple, nothing in drumming is simple, basic melody with the bass drum reading along to this page. Let's take it a step further. Okay, I'm going to change the system to 16th notes with your right and left hand on a closed hi-hat. Meaning, 
1 e tanta, 2 e tanta, 3 e tanta, 4 e tanta. Over and over and over. The system never changes. What you want to avoid, the hard part about this, is try not to flam. Try to get those left and rights absolutely together. Don't be going... Okay, should be more like this. Still a little bit of flamming, so I got to work on that, but bear with me. That's your system that will not stop. Melody, I'm going to choose to do the same melody as I did in the previous one, which would be again one and two and three and four. And luckily for us, the melody does not change. We'll do it four times. Here's what it would sound like with our new system and our melody. Okay? I'll count myself off. One E and a, let's see. That's pretty good. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E. hates counting out loud more than me. But counting out loud will help you really absorb this stuff and you will uh, it will help you keep your place while you're doing all this crazy new breed stuff. Not enough to count in your head. Count out loud. Believe me, I hate doing it. Most of you guys are going to hate doing it. Anyway, so I'm sure you want to get the gist of that. Here's an example of an advanced new breed system and melody that my good friend Brian Zeely showed me. And I still have a bit of difficulty with it, which means I need to put a little bit more practice on it. Okay. Here's the system. Instead of the system being one E and a two E and a, okay, the system is this. This hand is doing nothing. This is the hand that will be playing the melody. Okay, and I'm just going to make up a melody. It's actually easier if I do that than actually read something. Okay, so melody would be this. Uh, and in fact, let's see. using the, the, I think the snare drum, this doesn't sound as good as maybe snares off. I like that. In fact, we're getting sympathetic vibrations from that guy over there. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So, system, I'm going to make up my own melody. Take a listen. difficult. It's too difficult. So, I have to work on that a little bit more. Hopefully I'll work on it tonight. We'll see. But it's best if you're able to read something that's fairly simple in, in the beginning. And then, if you have problems with a certain measure, don't do what I did when I was younger and just kind of skip over and say, ah, oh, it's not important. You know, whatever, go, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But Gary Chester recommended doing each measure four times. And I, uh, you know, when I was 16, I wasn't about to do that. I wanted to get to the end. So if you're having problems with a certain measure of the melody, play it a few times. 
is this type of thing, if I'm rusty, if I've been lazy and I haven't been practicing for a couple weeks, New Breed gets everything in order. Now I have more advanced systems and stuff like that because I've been doing New Breed for a, for a while, but don't feel bad about that. you got to start somewhere, and everyone who starts this is not that good at it. Furthermore, with the 16th notes on the hi-hat, this system really helps your accuracy up here and it helps you apply your bass drum and left hand in a really good way because most of us are kind of weak on the on the left hand with the bass, you know. Okay, so this gets everything together and it's really nice. So maybe also find out where they sell New Breed in your area, the New Breed book, or go on Amazon. You might be able to look through a couple of pages. From what I remember, it's not that expensive. But before you buy the book, try it out. Try a couple of your own systems. Maybe another system could be this, you know. drum stuff, your snare drum piece with the bass drum. Like that, okay? So, that's all I have for today. Good luck. Go slow. Count out loud. You're not going to want to do it, but do it. Alright, thanks guys.